एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल आईएससी स्टेनो वी आर स्टार्टिंग द पैसेज एट स्पीड ऑफ 80 वर्ड पर मिनट स्टार्ट मिस्टर डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन आई एम एंटायरली इन सिंपैथी विद द पर्पस अंडरलाइंग द रेजोल्यूशन मूव्ड बाय माय ऑनरेबल फ्रेंड एज आई सी इट द रेजोल्यूशन सीक्स to inquire into the causes of increase in expenditure and suggest measures for affecting economy sir i do not think that there can be two opinions on the need for such a probe into the causes for the increase in civil expenditure that we are noticing whether the expenditure is justified or not is another matter but somehow the country and the house have the wrong impression that civil expenditure has been increasing at a phenomenal rate after the launching of the five year plans so sir to set at rest such notions that these increases are unjustified at least the government ought to agree to look into the causes for the increase in expenditure i agree that a commission may not be the most suitable machinery for having such a probe a commission consisting of members of parliament but it is immaterial what machinery is set up to investigate into the whole position i i would go to the extent of saying that government may think how best to inquire into and what machinery would be most suitable for inquiring into the rise in civil expenditure in recent years sir i do not want to weary the house with facts and figures but let me point out at the outset that the problem has to be viewed objectively one honorable member said that having regard to the high ideals set up by the father of the nation the expenditure teacher that is being incurred by the government in the name of five year plans is extremely high and that we should be guided by the standards set up by gandhi ji there was the other extreme point of view where one member urged that because we are engaged in national reconstruction the whole administrative machinery is geared to the implementation of the plans so that there can be no distinction between plan expenditure and non expenditure and so everything is justified this was the opposite view we should steer clear of these two extreme views and see how far the rise in expenditure is justified by the tempo of developmental activity how far it is a waste and how far it could be eliminated sir 
this problem has to be looked at from the larger perspective from the limited point of view of reducing unnecessary expenditure it is desirable but there is the larger question and it is this we are as the house is aware engaged in implementing five year plans during the 10th plan there has been a very large increase in civil expenditure as pointed out by the 92nd report of the estimates committee sir as i said this question has larger implications than the immediate needs of affecting economy in civil expenditure to me it appears that this question is intimately tied up with the question of administrative reforms we have seen the seen that administrative reforms are on the anvil but the nature and extent of these reforms are not yet clear and the house has had no opportunity to discuss them but reference was made by one or two friends to the reports on the question of reforms but the reports related only to the need for reorganization of the secretariat and did not relate to the question of rise in civil expenditure sir as can be seen from this report the expenditure has been rising steadily and when the expenditure has gone up by nearly 60% during the first 4 years of the 10th plan period i shudder to think what would be the rise in civil expenditure at this rate during the 11th plan period when the outlay is going to be double that of the 10th plan so we have to remember that we are in an era of planning and the outlay on our 5 year plans is going to increase from plan to plan we have been through 10 5 year plans and we are at the end of the 10th plan period and this i think is the opportune time when we should review working of the administrative machinery and the extent of civil expenditure wise avis the outlay on developmental activities unless we have a probe into the state of affairs at this juncture a time will come when the department's machinery will have multiplied themselves to such an extent that it will be difficult to control expenditure and to find out where the defect lies it will be difficult to reorganize the administrative machinery so it seems to me that the question of administrative reforms 
is intimately tied up with the question of reduction of civil expenditure if the strength and the functions are very efficiently defined at various levels then it will be easy to control expenditure administrative personnel are to be increased in promotion only to the outlay for the plan stop Thank you.